All right, guys, we're headed to the Deer Club. I'm currently on bound, en route to the Deer Club. Me and my dad, uh, we're headed out now. We're about 30 minutes out, hour long drive. Uh, well, damn, listen to that turbo. We got the skid steer, the four wheeler. I don't know if you guys can see that through my tent or not, but uh, we're headed out. It's about 5 a.m. We got uh, 60 degree weather, it's warm. Uh, deer, I think, might be on their feet, might not. Full moon last night. We'll see, it should be interesting. We have made it to the deer club. Uh, full moon, look at this thing. I'm gonna be hunting a cutover, should get light extremely early, so we gotta get on the move. I'm gonna go inside, get my uh, hunting clothes on, then come out here, get ready, and then head out. It looks like one of our buddies is down this weekend. Uh, this is gonna be his room, it's where all the guests stay. So it's probably gonna get light at like seven o'clock. Not exactly too sure. Seven o'clock. It's gonna get dark. Well, yeah, it's gonna get dark and then light again because the moon's gonna come down. So it'll be interesting to see how that plays out. Uh, looks like these will work. I had to get some uh, bag hangers because I don't have any. So this right here is gonna be the weapon of mass destruction today. Glock 20. Where's your Glock at, Dad? And here's his. Hold on, let me turn up the brightness. He's got a 40 with a. Uh, a 40 with a red dot. I'm headed to my stand. Dad is going to a really good doe stand. Uh, a lot of big does coming into that stand. I'm going to a cutover. It should be a uh, good hunt. And we got some, we got a big eight point coming there. But I'm going to let him go. He's a little young. There is a big cold buck coming there. Not big. He's a one horn 10 basically. We call him one horn junior. Because last year, or a couple years before that, we had a one horn 10. And uh, he's his offspring. We never took that one other uh, buck out, and that's what happens. You know, you got ugly deer. There's a deer right there. Well, shit, we done passed them. There's a buck and a doe, it looks like. Anyway, I'm going to put down the camera so I don't run over any uh, deer on the way to the stand. It's right up here. Uh, I'll do as much filming as I can. Hope you guys enjoy it. All right, guys. Uh, it's about 7.10. It's starting to get light outside. Got the cutover behind me. We're in a little draw right here. All that over there is a big cut over. Uh, should be a good morning. <coughs> I can't believe that just happened. Why didn't I get that on video? Frick. I, I've never seen that happen down here before. We're out in the middle of nowhere. A car just drove, a car just drove by, honking his horn. As soon as she saw or he saw my truck, beep, 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 all the way to the end of the cutover. I got this camera down here on to turn it off. This was the closest camera that I had when uh, they started coming by. I can't believe that. That's crazy. It, that's illegal, actually. Obviously, I'm not going to do shit, but hunter harassment is actually a crime. I got, I got a mark on my lens. Hold up. I've never seen someone do that. Uh, right now I've just been scanning that cut over with my binoculars. Nothing much going on yet. I guess I still I can't get over that. Why? I, oh, frick. I didn't see what kind of car it was. I can't see the road from here because the cut over's kind of grown up. Here comes another car. That one sounds like it's a truck pulling a trailer. Never mind. No, I don't think that's on this road. I think that's on the road down there. Uh, that's crazy. All right, I'm gonna put you guys up until something happens.
guys. <laughs> I missed her. I guess I missed her. Good thing she was the wrong one. <laughs> uh, I thought she was the biggest dove, but she wasn't. Shit, how did I miss that? That's not that far. I think I jerked the trigger. These Glock triggers, they suck. But I thought I was, uh, I thought I was getting, it was getting ready to fire. So I was like, I'll, I'll pull it on through all the way. And uh, that didn't happen. So, well, I mean, it did happen, but I don't think it turned out. They're not too spooked. They might come back. I'm just going to sit here and see if one of those bucks shows up. I don't know how I missed her. I haven't shot this pistol enough, I don't think. But uh, I'll definitely shoot it when I get back today. <laughs> Alright guys, reviewing the footage. First time I'm seeing this. Oh, I went high. Shit. I don't know where a lot of those deer came from. There's three, but I only watched one come in. I even lost track of her down in that bottom. It's 8.08. We got another hour and 20 minutes. Maybe something will happen, we'll see. I don't know what spooked them off. I was sitting here on my phone and uh out of the blue, he took off. Like, can you guys see? That is bright. There's another little buck around here somewhere. I don't know where he went. He disappeared. Yep. He smelt me. That's it. I was thinking that one horn, uh, one horn junior would come through, but uh, he hasn't. All right, guys. That was a good hunt. I enjoyed it. But it's time to head out. It is, it is 9.35. I'm headed out. I gotta get to the store before they uh, stop serving breakfast. Now, a lot of you guys don't know what the store is. I think I'll explain that in another video. Basically, it's just a little country store that sells food and fishing worms. Basically, down here on the river, we eat there every morning. Then come lunchtime, it's where all our friends hang out. It's kind of just the hangout spot for all of us hunters. I'm gonna walk over to my truck and uh, head on. I made it to the road. There's my truck. I still cannot believe that car came by honking. Out of how many times I've hunted here, this never happened. Crazy. As soon as they hit the bend, they started beep, 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 all the way down there to the end of the cutover back there. People are so stupid. Let me get to where you guys can see me. That. Honking the horn does not scare deer. And so you do nothing but look like a dickhead. Literally, honking the horn, I'll, I, I promise to you, does not scare deer. I mean, those deer are 250 yards off the road anyhow. 
they don't care. Currently, I am heading to, uh, I should probably turn that down more so I don't get copyrighted. Uh, I'm headed to my dad. He is moving a big oak tree that fell down right near the cutover I was hunting, actually. One of the gates, it got crushed by a big ass oak tree. We're headed over there real quick. Things I've done today, not very much. We ate breakfast and then all the guys came over and helped with uh, putting in county water. I don't know who's all down here with them. I'm probably not gonna do too much filming, but uh, I'm just coming down here to see what he's up to and see how it's going. Well, he hasn't moved the tree yet. That is one big ass tree. Holy crap. We're gonna be putting up a new fence right here, a new gate. The other one's actually right there all crushed up. Oh my gosh. Guys, I think I'm gonna go ahead and close off this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I would keep vlogging today, but I think that hunt this morning was really long. If you guys like these vlogs, leave it in the comments. Do you guys think I should vlog the entire day or split Saturdays up into two vlogs? Because we do a bunch of shit Saturdays. Uh, and there's gonna be a lot more to come. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and end this video off. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please leave it in the comments. This man. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a comment telling me if you like hunting vlogs or not. There's more to come either way. If you do, you don't, just leave it in the comments. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. There's more to come. I'm going hunting again with my Glock tonight, and hopefully we can make something happen. Thank y'all for watching.